How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant.
Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Merc dead eye. Mercenary dead eye. Mercenary. Sentinel Merc dead eye. Merc dead eye. Mercenary. Dead Eye. Mercenary. Dead Eye. Commando. Cyphreak. Commando. Cyphreak. Commando. Cyphreak. Saboteur, Sentinel, Mercer, Dead Eye, Dead Eye Chosen. That'll work. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, 
It's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Seems more like you're being light-headed, if you ask me, but you'll come around, eventually. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So, it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was, hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. And if that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress, and as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear! Right is always right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the Predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die.
Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Put that to good use.
look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed. Including you. Low tech, but it works. Toxinol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind.
There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Wham! Swoon. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. That's the good stuff. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. Come, Reaper. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. 
your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the world eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. You're such a good child. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder. The Nono's key energy is <laughs> Only time will... You'll need to support the tree for a long time to... You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he will... You handle... <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can... <laughs> but today... One day, the la- You can already see the effect. He says you'd better- No, she's got lots on- He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. The tree The genetic evolution that occurred up His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route 
Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. <laughs> out of date. <laughs> The road ahead. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribal and the situation with the world eater. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographic. Let's see. be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters Look, a survivor. Been a lassie tailor so much. No, so point say you are an if. Passu, Tevele, a man who numb top, bail no mump of one. That's a spark of a. What's there to like about? Not as much as it hurts. Always making. And you're. out of date again. He must have missed something important. Regardless of who you... The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same.
the Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse, it's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war, or part of the problem. Let's see. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says just because you've made time to meet the Sifu. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomed the news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall. He's referring to your rampage. Jack says there is some darkness in the best of us, even you, and suggests you embrace that side of you and help them vanquish the tribes and let the world eaters destroy the tree of life. He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Otherwise, And with that, he urges you to seek protection at Myriad Stone Fort before word gets.
That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sif is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort, but he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante... He heard. He's convinced you've returned. There's something about your... The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make... Your Moomer invented that Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. The Jagni tribe may believe their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or he wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle... Once you've dealt with the rivals' outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their... They passed the point of no return as their words lost power. See... He remembers... Anyway, the memories you...
Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Been taking your vitamins. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tink. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. He asks how you are today. Goop says he, he wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He thinks you should really know, and he'll... He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? Wait, but you need practice. Lots of practice. Great. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to... You can never... Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. 
It's time. Ruhemu tonu. You know. Kialdo malikano ro tonu. Pala. As long as it doesn't. Amun. She'll see you at the. Kanamunta. Rumble marsamonundu. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap. He thinks you're clever. He won He can work You did well. Thank you so did speed spread. He's lo It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting. Then you've got a good ex. She wants you to grow up and They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you. To. That makes him. He wants. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have wet. The most. It's time to focus on your. Someone close to heart? Do wax you vaxa u inta badai. Trade button u dima mako kakwana. He has an inafton. Sean, it's an inafton. He's curious to see what you found. He's looking for.
Ina dabsunka. Yo muma says it's about time. Do male tuk sa anora ka patom. Do tate ko baba sakting. Kodo tuku, kodo tuku. That's a good act. And sonbara. Your Muma says you did well today. Taifanana Numa. Thanks you for Drawbala. Kanamun Kanamunt and Toro. You sh Andro? Says he's always thought. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparition. It's called an automaton. Your Muma says you look tired. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Luka Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time of Yo yo no masa mandaru, but amora kapabom, una tu gomba. She tells you to asil na tu, kano ruta. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. Must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow.
Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Keep it down. Flat hulks on the loose.
ģenlēma, ja man runā apdošat, dro eku dadrā. Ne, la, zābat jābal plārīkē, ne, bet papīja. Jūs šurā. Cēvu čēj kungšu vā palpārēk mēk. An emergency box. Wow. <laughs> Bet that nut makes a tight fist. The sun's a long ways away. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick town. The Toxanol Corporation made this place. Toxanol never cared about the weight. There must be a trax. found the whereabouts, the deepest, darkest forest in the land, sometimes hard to see for all the trees. That's a Jagni tribe outpost.
Mercadorpus outpost, a Jagni tribe stronghold. You get your will it dilute you? Here's the first line of defense. That's a bomb lock. Whirly wheel works that drain pipe. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Everything's clocking together. Something has to be able to open this lock. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. They never lost hope you'd come, but weren't sure if they'd last long enough to see it. Says the tribe's been hard on them. Wants revenge on those who caged them, but trust you'll take care of it. A sharpshooter, the scaffold. Better stay clear of the red ray. Here's the second line of defense. Red means danger.
timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it. Then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Kaboom! You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. Figures the honor below. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's forebodings are justified. The jumbo puff needs to be taken care of. Gizmo is working on making... You should get over there and see what you...